Hey everybody and welcome back to more Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. So today, we'll be taking on the Kerchu boss. Yes, I've been dreading recording this for like ever, but I can no longer put it off. This is the hardest boss in the entire game. And we have to do it now. And no, this is not the final boss or anything like that. This is literally just a really hard to deal with boss. Watch out for those missiles. God damn it, we took damage. God damn it, why did we take double damage there? Like, this is gonna be annoying and. Was that missile seriously still following me? I don't think it was supposed to. So, my voice seems a little off. It's not because I'm sick, like I was on my COD channel for a long time. No, I actually really severely burnt my tongue the other day. And was putting off recording for a few days, and then. Well, I'm like, this channel hasn't had a. Th had any videos in about three days, so I'm like, I gotta do something for it, you know? Okay, we should almost be there. Oh yeah, let's jump over the green fire of death. It's like Hellfire from World of Warcraft. Very scary green lava fire. Blah. Whoa. Okay, here we go. It's gonna lead us to the boss fight. Which is going to be annoying so what we want to do first of all is we want to send out some nano swarmers now they should work ah fuck I always do that because I always forget that it's god damn it why is it not working there we go that worked so now do I have any of the health ones I should mega leech bomb there we go. Uh, do I have any regular leech bombs? Yes, I do. I have two. I'm pretty sure he's not supposed to use do stuff this much, but or like this common, like this this often, but he is. Okay, we just gotta be slow with it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about going well so far. Can we? Ah, oh, god damn it, it failed me. Normally we're sh we should be out of this phase by now, but we're not. There we go, I think we're out of that phase. Yeah, now let's just destroy everything that he's ever cared about. Now all I have to do is stay away from them while they blow up. Okay. Uh, where are my nano swarmers? Nano. Wait a minute. You know what I can do? Groovatron. And then I can put out the nano swarmers. And then just. Alpha Disruptor him. There we go. Okay. This is going a little better than my test runs I had. So let's hope things stay that good. Plasma Stalkers, go! Those aren't really doing anything to him, are they? What about you? Not much, but you are still helping. Oh, shnites. Grivatron, go! Oh, yeah, yay! Okay, Mr. Zircon. Uh, Predator Launcher? Okay, we'll just do this. Hopefully we can defeat him with, like, no health. Oh, we're out of ammo on that, too. Uh, we do have some more Nano Swarmers. Very few, but we do. Uh, uh, combustor? Is he just gonna... Oh. I'm like, is he just gonna be nice and keep using that attack? No, he's not. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, there's a missile stuck in the air. Okay, this is, uh... Getting really weird here with the damage. Uh... We'll try you? 
Oh. Whoa, I almost ran into that. I didn't realize there was going to be another bomb, but there was. Like, we're almost out of weapon ammo completely. I don't know, this one? God! Okay, that... Okay. Um... There, we'll just use this for a bit. And there we go. Oh, I still had some of the negoti- actually, I don't think I did have any of the negotiator left. So, that might have been an issue, too. <laughs> There's the weapon I was looking for. Which one's he gonna break off? That one? I believe you can actually fight him down there, too. It's not like you don't- don't have to fight him up here. Or, you know what I mean. I believe this phase is mainly missiles, and then he gets into, like, the third phase, which is a mixture of everything he's ever done. Alright, let's get away from those. Oh, never mind. He does still do that. Just not very frequently. Now, let's use Groovatron. And negotiate. Just destroy him, negotiator. Well, wait, are his missiles coming out even though my... Whoa. Oh, man. Well, would it be easier to fight him down here? I don't know. Wait, Mr. Zircon can actually hurt, though, down here. Which I think is the beneficial part to this. You're not going to let him live, Mr. Zircon? Wait, I do have the uh, Groovatron still, though. Plus, I still have ways to get back out. So things are going a lot better. Okay, let's do this again. Okay. Predator launcher time. If we do so little damage, oh, and Zircon's out. Uh, fusion bomb. Little alien. Are they really alien? I guess anything from your not from your area is technically an alien. So I guess anything could be an alien. Even humans are aliens, so it's not saying much. <laughs> uh oh. I see those there. There we go. We'll just use that. Put out some more nano swarmers. And more Predator Launcher! Here. Oh god, those missiles are just like going around in a circle. Oh, darn it. Um, Pyrociter? I mean, not Pyrociter. There we go, we beat him.
Okay, that was really I weird. Received a transmission from Aphelion. She has tracked Slag's trajectory to a fleet hidden in the Ublik Passage. Coordinates acquired for the Ublik Passage. Now, funny thing is, did you guys like get to hear the cutscene? Because I didn't. It was like dead quiet. I think we have everything here, so let's go to the Ublik Passage. Ublik Passage. Long ago, the Ublik Passage was a common space route between the uh, Verdegris and Praxis sectors. However, the passageway was made virtually unusable when the Kragmites detonated a nearby neutron star in order to block the Allied Polaris convoys. The residual radiation has made the passage unusable to all but robots and the hardiest of organic life forms. Well, so, this is probably like another pirate battle, but. That'll. That, that won't be fun, I guess, eh? Then that's probably all we'll do this video. Trying to get some recording to- oh, never mind. It's literally Slag's fleet, Ublik Passage. Here we are. Didn't know if there was going to be a cutscene or not, so I didn't talk, but there wasn't a cutscene. The situation is getting dire. I am sending a transmission to Krog's comm unit requesting assistance. Fine, okay. but I'm not waiting around. All right, now, I do believe we do get a new weapon here. Damn it, we don't have enough for the magnet launcher. Like, I swear I should have enough for it right now, but I, I seriously don't. Which is weird, and this thing didn't upgrade at all on that boss. Once again, really weird. Manta rays everywhere. Mother's Day. Well, okay, but Mother's Day isn't even close to right now, so... I wonder if Mother's Day would be the same as, like, the Earth Day. <clears throat> or the Earth Day, or if it would be, like, a different holiday. Okay, this weapon is not doing anything to these guys. Which is really making things difficult. We wasn't expecting any visitors, Longbacks. We wasn't? Well, I was expecting someone like you to show up. What? Holy shit balls. That did a lot of damage. I'm not gonna lie on that one. I would really like to get the magnet launcher, but alas, I cannot. Uh, anything I need to upgrade? Um, Nano Swarmers, go! Just destroy him! There we go. Perfect. Now I'll go back on the ship. Uh oh. Oh, that didn't work well at all. So I'll just use this on them. Oh, there, they're all gone. Uh, now I got the big guy, right? Yeah, big guy means we're probably gonna want the nano swarmers back out. Okay, apparently it wouldn't work on that ground. Oh, we can bounce the big bombs back at them. That's kind of good to know. All these bouncy cannonballs are a tad bit annoying. Whoa, he does a lot. That was even after getting some extra health. <laughs> oh, does he have a big one coming up? Okay, no, never mind. I guess he doesn't really give an indicator when he's going to put a big one out. There we go, he's dead. Ooh, rare titanium galore. Like, the Kurchu boss didn't really give us anything. Wait, what? Oh, there's a pirate door. Oh, I guess we have to do it, right? So, well, not that. Ah, there we go. Let's go do a pirate jig. Only a true pirate may pass. Dance the jig and prove your worth. Well, I'm worthless, so I'll try it anyway. Okay, sounds easy enough. This is way too easy. 
Like, you don't even need to hear it. Yeah, I got the booty shaking powers. I'm a twerk master. Wait, what? That didn't open up over there? I was expecting that to open up there. But what weapon is it that was about to level up? The disc blade gun? And nanoswarms are also almost upgraded too. So we'll upgrade the nanoswarmers first. Since they're going to be a very ver versatile weapon. There we go. Now eat the rest of them. There we go. Oh, oh my god, I just realized there's a guy in a sentry. Whoa! That's not the weapon I went on to, game. Ooh, sweet. D3 Negotiator. I don't know, like, it seems good against enemies. It does not seem good against bosses. Not by a long shot. Now, what do I do here? Do I man the turret? You know, that doesn't knock anything down. No, this. Oh, wait, there's a. How did I miss a bolt crank right there? Like, seriously, guys. How did I miss that? Oh. Ooh, more enemies. Okay, what do we got close to leveling up that has ammo? Yeah, you guys are close to leveling. Hopefully, I have enough to destroy them. There we go! A B5. Ooh, sweet. Anyways, I think this is a good spot to end the video because it looks like we're going to be going into some more dangerous pirate territory. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time for some more Ratchet & Clank future.